He was an academic and a politician who for years took an uncompromising stance with hardline policies. But all that changed when David Trimble surprised allies and critics by leading Northern Ireland's unionist pro-British majority into a peace deal with nationalist and Republican opponents. A towering figure in Northern Ireland and British politics, he became the architect of the Good Friday Agreement. It helped end three decades of sectarian and political violence known as the Troubles, where the guerrilla group, the IRA, was fighting British forces and pro-British paramilitary groups. Not just to bring about the end to terrorist violence, but also to end what has in effect been a cold war between the two parts of Ireland uh, over the course of the last 75 years, and to a lesser extent, a cold war between the Republic of Ireland and the United Kingdom. The Good Friday Agreement brokered by the U.S. during Bill Clinton's presidency marked a turning point. And in 1998, as Ulster Unionist Party leader Trimble won the Nobel Peace Prize, shared with his Catholic adversary, John Hume. That same year, he was elected as the first minister of Northern Ireland in a new power-sharing parliament. But animosity and criticism followed. Many in Northern Ireland grew tired of Trimble and his colleagues. He was eventually eclipsed when the hardline reverend Ian Paisley went on to share power with Sinn Féin, the political wing of the IRA. Despite a combative personality, Trimble earned the respect of many for reaching beyond religious and political lines. David Trimble was 77 years old.